I play Ig, as you say, and he, um, at the beginning of the film, he is in quite a bad state. His girlfriend has been murdered. They were lovers for a long time, from about age 10, and he's been charged with the death of her. The whole town thinks he's done it, and sort of, there's been a kind of trial by media, and he has been vilified by the press, and, um, after a night of debauchery, he wakes up with small horns growing out of his head. He grows these magic, crazy, demon devil horns which make people speak their darkest truths. He realises that they are drawing out confessions from people and so he uses this newfound power to like figure out both A, why the hell he is growing horns and B, who in fact killed his girlfriend. You killed that innocent girl. Now the devil has claimed you. Ah! Alex Arsha, the director, just created this incredible set because obviously the film is quite dark and we have to go to some pretty dark places in the film and he created a set where you felt so safe. The way he approaches every scene, I found myself going, God, I don't think there's any other director in the world that would think of that. Like, he's brilliant. It makes the job feel kind of easy when you've got someone that's so good at what they do, you know? It's a case of sort of expect the unexpected. It is. Whatever you think this film is, it will be different. I hope they get freaked out. It's very dark. It has, you know, fantastic kind of revenge thriller. I hope they want to go off and fall in love, because love is very powerful. And it's also got this beautiful love story in the middle of it. So hopefully, they'll see a film like nothing else they've seen for a while.